prime suspect in the disappearance of Natalie Holloway, finally facing some form of justice here in the United States. That long journey for Vandersloot beginning this morning in Peru, where he is currently serving 28 years for murder. His plane landing in Alabama just this afternoon, a few hours ago, Vandersloot facing extortion and wire fraud charges. This journey, though, starting 6,583 days ago in Aruba. That's when Natalie Holloway was last seen. Vandersloot is the last person known to be with the Mountain Brook native to this day. No one has been charged in her disappearance. The 18 year old's body has never been recovered. That combination leaving a gaping hole for the Holloway family. Until Iran faces the extortion charges in the U.S., then justice is not being served. That hole could soon be filled. Vanderslo finally in Alabama to face those charges. Thank you so much for joining us here at 6 o'clock. I'm Brittany Decker. And I'm Ian Wrights. We have you covered from all angles this afternoon. WVTM 13, Lisa Crane anchoring our team coverage tonight. Uh, Lisa, we all know this must mean quite a bit for the Holloway family. Yeah, it certainly does, and it looks like this may be all they're able to get from Joran Vandersloot as well. Natalie Holloway disappeared in May of 2005. She was declared legally dead seven years later. Now, Joran Vandersloot pleaded guilty to the murder of a young woman in Peru that very same week, but Natalie Holloway's body has never been recovered. That has been heartbreaking for her family, and it's also the reason these charges of extortion and fraud may be all Vandersloot will ever face in the Holloway case. Because there's no way of proving beyond a reasonable doubt that she's dead, there's no way to charge this case as a murder. But it will be justice and it will matter. Now, this case has some very eerie parallels to the murder in Peru that Vandersloot confessed to. Now, five years to the day after Holloway disappeared, Vandersloot murdered that woman in Peru. The same day he was arrested for that murder in 2010, former U.S. Attorney, attorney Joyce Vance actually signed the original indictment for the wire fraud and extortion charges. Now, we want to go live now to... Um, I believe we're going live to John Papke, who is at the uh, Hoover City Jail, where Vandersloot is staying right now. John? Well, Lisa, you're right. A motorcade of three FBI SUVs arrived here at the Hoover Public Safety Building off Valleydale Road around 3.30 this afternoon. That's about an hour after the plane that was brought, bringing him back from Peru arrived at the Birmingham Airport. Now, Hoover is one of three local jails in the Jefferson and Shelby County area that we're told actually have a, a, an agreement with the federal government to house their inmates. Federal law enforcement sources, though, in the last couple of days have been very tight-lipped about where he would be held during his stay here, but we received confirmation that he was on his way to Hoover around 3.15 this afternoon. Whether he will remain here during his whole stay is still unclear. Now, those that will be visiting him in this jail or whichever jail he has held during the duration would be his defense attorneys. And late this afternoon, a James Gibson actually filed an appearance in federal court to represent Vandersloat, uh, Kevin Butler, who also represented Derek Brown in the Cupcake McKinney kidnapping, had already been assigned in this case. Back to you, Lisa. All right, John, thank you very much. Now, Vandersloat arrived here in Birmingham just after 2 this afternoon, touching down at the Birmingham Shuttlesworth International Airport, and that's where WVTM 13's Jarvis Robertson is live tonight. And Jarvis, you watched that plane, plane touch down, and you watched him take his first steps on U.S. soil. Yeah, I did, Lisa. Now, the plane landed at 217 or around 217 this afternoon. Agents, they left to go get him yesterday morning. Having Yoran Vandersloat in Alabama is significant in the missing case, missing persons case of Natalie Holloway. Now, here is the exact moment his feet did hit touch American soil. He was flown in the Department of Justice plane with federal agents. They left Peru just before 8 o'clock this morning. Now, many people not knowing they would ever see the prime suspect and Natalie Holloway's disappearance face some sort of justice as it relates to this case. Now, the case dominated local and national headlines for several years. The weight of this moment, it also brings the proper paparazzi trying to get pictures of Vandersloot as he was getting off the plane. Now, his arrival again does bring some sort of justice. However, uh, we are hoping that it would also bring some answers to the questions, especially that the family of Natalie, Natalie Holloway has. Reporting live in Birmingham, I'm Jarvis Robertson, WVTM 13.